All right, this is Alex. Um, trying to do this video of my new 3D printer, the Wanhou Duplicator i3. Uh, I decided to get into the 3D printing uh, to try and learn the software because I think it would be a good uh, tool to have later on. Um, sort of a bargain basement um, 3D printer. Um, paid about 500 Canadian for it. Uh, I've been reading online about this printer and the uh, modifications people have been doing it to uh, get better print quality out of it. Um, not the latest, latest version, but uh, I think uh, some upgrades have been done to it because uh, there were certain problems, I guess, with some of the earlier ones. Um, let's see, for this one, it's got the... Uh, stronger bracket. Uh, I think the earlier ones didn't have this section on it so there was some slight um, wobble in that and uh, some people have been putting a uh, tie wrap here. I'll do that later on to stabilize that and get a good uh, better Y. Uh, the fan, some people have been um, modifying it and actually for mine there is no slot here, so I can't rotate that fan to point it more at the uh, extruder. I have put a bracket on the back here because there were some problems with the wire, the soldered wires here breaking quickly over time. I've also extended the lead of the wires. I've moved the wires through so now the solder joints are here and so that's why there's a bit of excess wires in that. Um, this is still a 24 volt fan, even though 12 volts is being supplied to it. I'm going to replace it later on to get the better airflow out of it. Uh, it does have the mount on the top for the uh, filament holder, and it had one on the case itself. Uh, I'm not sure about the, whether the earlier ones had it or not, but uh, this one has two mounting points for the Z axis limit switch. So, uh, if I wanted to put a, a glass plate on this on the heating surface, uh, that would allow me to move the Z point uh, limit switch and uh, not have to do much filling around with it. So, then I have, uh, as, as seen online, I have put uh, nuts on the underside there to make that more stable. And the, I said that on the other side. You see that people have said that these bolts in the earlier ones were too short and it caused the uh, belt to be moved too forward and rubbing. Uh, these ones are 20 millimeters, so they did uh, improve that on my model here. And uh, I understand these, uh, I don't know if you can see it, these brackets that hold the uh, Z motors are actually supposed to be beefier than one. Uh, my box, back of my box, you can see there's no fan there. There are vents on the side. Vents on the side, but no fan on the back. That I think the latest ones have fans. Apparently mine doesn't. But uh, we're going to give it a try soon. And um, maybe I'll try and set up a uh, time lapse to for the printout of it. Uh, and it's almost ready to go. See you soon, hopefully.